it almost didn't happen. But yes, it's been an absolute honour to have them here. Uh, they've had a chance to meet our Duke of Edinburgh cohort and meet with the fantastic kids that, that we've got working with us. Royal family, of course, especially the younger members of the royal family, very keen on environmental issues. Listening to what they had to say, yes, very, and very clued up on, on the big issues uh, to do with the environment. So it was good that the kids got that feedback from somebody of, uh, of that position. So it was fantastic. We talked about many things. Uh, Lewis's work with the Nautilus Project and the sampling and all the probes and all phytoplankton and what they do. So we collect all the data from salinity and temperature and chlorophyll and everything that happens in our water. So we got the opportunity to discuss our diving team to the Royals and it's a completely surreal experience. Um, we were able to let them know how like, much the, the project has given us and the opportunity it's giving to young people now. Well, we discussed about our beach cleans, which we've been doing for about a year now. Well, I've been doing for about a year, which um, we've done plenty. We do some every few weeks and they just wanted to know really what we do and how we help the environment by doing so. It was an immense honour to have them here and talk about something that we're really passionate about, especially microplastics, as it's such an uh, important factor to climate change and the work we do here at Nautilus Project. Yeah, it was an amazing once-in-a-lifetime experience that we're probably not going to ever get to experience again, and it was an honour to have them with us. Mostly I spoke about how when we go diving in the, in the, in the wrecks and stuff, um, it's, you know, it's, it's extremely interesting, and there's uh, how usually we take down data and um, also collect rubbish and the data is really useful for what we do here in Nautilus and we keep all our records here um, about all the marine life in, in Gibraltar and it's extremely interesting and, and a little bit sad to be, to be fair because there's a lot, of, a lot of the species are endangered because of all the plastic and pollution that is, that, that's here in Gibraltar. What sort of things did they want to know about? I spoke to one of the kids and I heard the Countess talk about my octopus teacher. <laughs> So yeah, these, these are the sorts of um, uh, issues that are, that are going on. So for example, with, with, with the, uh, respect to octopus, um, they've actually been put on the Sent British Sentience Register in the UK uh, because they are self-aware. This is new, new science that's coming out that we are learning about all the time. And so it, it's, it's great that they're aware of, of these sorts of issues and, and can engage with the children on that level. What do you think it does for the children to be able to get this recognition? It, it's, it's great for them because after all their work, uh, they've, they've had a royal visit, they've had a chance uh, to do that. So they've been, they've, their work's been validated and that's fantastic. Uh, it also gives them a, a chance to get experience on, on some difficult uh, pressure conversations, right? Which will only stand them in good stead as they go forward. Could you tell that he is quite an environmentalist? Yes, he seemed very, very interested in everything that we showed him today. He seemed very interested, he knew what he was saying. He sort of gave some feedback and he was really happy with what we were doing the Countess of, of Wessex, I heard her express a, an interest on our octopus teacher. Yeah, yeah, my octopus teacher. I was explaining to her how I've had quite a, quite a thing myself with, like a similar thing myself, down at Little Bay and um, I was during Covid swimming every day with the, with the same octopus until it came to breeding season and unfortunately I never saw it again because they die during breeding season and uh, yeah. What did they ask about? What did they want to know? They wanted to know um, how much plastic was really coming in from the ocean and how much we were contributing to the microplastics that we talked about. Did you feel that they were genuinely interested? Yeah, I think that they wanted to know what, how much plastic and how big of an issue it really is. Yeah, they took an interest in not only um, the project itself, but in our lives they were asking us questions, for an example, like our, about our exams that we're currently undergoing, so it was quite nice as well. Mm -hmm. It was a really nice gesture for them to appreciate the time we've taken and um, that we, especially that we're doing exams, so it was really nice of them. For us, this has been the most nerve-wracking part of, of today uh, because obviously uh, they, they were doing exams today, they've got exams tomorrow, and we had to try and coordinate to get them in a small window so that they were taking a break from their studies and now they've gone back to, to study again for tomorrow's exam. So it's, it's been a nerve-wracking day. Totally worth it. Royal approval. Absolutely. Royal approval. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah.